Dear Ones I am Archangel Michael. Today begins a period of great turbulence on your planet, yes because this party takes place in various parts of your planet, and the energy is the same. It would be an energy of joy, of pure fun, if there weren't so many things in the middle of it that throw you off balance. This is the big problem. The party itself is no problem, playing, jumping to happy music is no problem. Don't think that everything is bad, no, it's not. What contaminates this party is all the modification of consciousness that happens along with the game. Through alcoholic beverages, through drugs, and through ill-considered attitudes that you take during this period. So my brothers, I have said here, it is not that I want you to be saints, but think hard about what you are going to do, because you could be losing a lot of the path that you have already taken. No, this is not a threat, I will not do anything. I will not be the one to reduce your energy. You have a ladder to climb. When you stay on the path, you rise, and by rising you begin to climb the steps of the ladder. Now if you lose vibration, that ladder disappears and you quickly slide to lower levels where the energy of the level will be compatible with yours. Only that. No, I'm not the one who will do anything. Nobody is worried about letting anyone down, we want you to stay where you are. You associated this festival with debauchery, with being able to do all sorts of things that you don't have the courage to do during the rest of the year. So everything that goes wrong, who will be to blame? Ah, it was carnival. Grow up my brothers, you have your own will, what you are going to do or do will be your complete responsibility, not a date, not an event. I said it yesterday and I'll say it again, the dark ones are around but they are not the ones that induce you to drink, to take the first sip, you start drinking and then they see the opportunity to drink together, and then they come over and drink with you. Then I agree that they induce you to drink more and more, so that you satisfy them. No being of non-light comes close to those who are shining, come close to those who have high energy, they approach precisely those beings, whose energies are easy to be contaminated and very close to their energy. So this is how it happens. So playing, jumping, having fun excitedly does not attract anything bad. You are being happy, you are living a moment of joy, it is perfect, there is no condemnation in relation to it. The problem is not the party itself, as many want to say. Yes, the party is known as the party of bad energy, because that is what happens. But if you maintain your integrity, there is nothing to fear there is nothing to worry about. And I will tell you my brothers, everything is quite exacerbated on your planet. Exactly because the Dark Ones want to cause as many problems as possible, so that the planet's energy drops and they can stay here even longer. So, don't get carried away by tragic news, live your moment, forget the rest. You have to worry about yourselves, not others. Everyone knows their way, everyone chooses their path, everyone reaps their own harvest. So there's not much more to say here. During this period, as you have already been warned, we will not have the prayers of the Egregor of Light. From today until Wednesday we will not have any type of prayer. Then many will ask, why, if you are such powerful beings, why can't you have it, or safety to you? Yes, we protect the Egregor and protect everyone who is connected, sending light to the Egregor. But this is a time when low vibration energies are very strong on the planet. So be sure that these energies will be ready to disrupt the entire process, and as many of you often do not prepare adequately, you run the risk of being hit. The problem is not with us, nor with the Egregor of Light, and with you. Then some may say, ah, but I guarantee myself, I prepare myself, I know what I have to do to get rid of them. Okay. If you think you can guarantee yourself, that's your decision. By having one sending energy, we will put people there, if there are none we will put people there, the process will continue. We won't stop, we have no reason to stop. I'm just advising you not to donate energy during this period, for your own safety. The decision is up to each person. Then I don't want anyone complaining. So what does it cost you to? to relax a little, 
not to have that commitment during this period. After Wednesday, on Thursday you come back, we all come back the same way as before. My videos will also only return on Thursday. So the decision is up to each person, but the advice is that you don't do it. Okay? Well, this week, as I said, would be a week just of teachings, because we will talk about Sananda again the week after Carnival week, then I will talk about Sananda and the compliments of the letters again. I hope you have read all the compliments by then, in the same way that you read all the letters. So that you can follow what I'm going to say, and it is very important. Many are waiting for me to pass some task today, no, I won't pass it. This period will be a period of testing for you. No, I'm not going to take any tests. You will be tested to see how balanced you will be with so many days of revelry. Because many may not drink much, but they will eat excessively, they will eat sweets excessively. So it's a testing period. No, I'm not asking anyone here to do this, you can drink, you can eat, as long as there is a balance, it is not beyond what is acceptable. Ah, but what is acceptable? For everyone there is an acceptable one. Many may think that eating an entire plate of cake is acceptable, that is acceptable. Others will imagine that it is a piece of that cake that was made. This is really not a rule, there is no definition of what is acceptable. I could say that what is acceptable is everything that you eat willingly, as you say, salivating. You look at it and have that desire, you eat that piece and it's over, that is acceptable. It's not because you liked the first piece, oh. I'll have one more, I'll have another one. It's already beyond acceptable. Remember, you have to start cutting out certain addictions, and sweets are the worst addiction you have. Because most of what you eat during the day is sweet. So learn to taste the sugar in fruits. The fruits are rarely honeyed, they are sweet. So learn to live with the sweetness of fruits, because then you have a pure taste, not that taste of excessive sweetness. So, if we make, for example, a cake with fruit, without white flour, without sugar, only with natural products, can we eat that cake a little more comfortably? Firstly, you are already worrying about what you are putting on the cake. If you tell me you're going to use everything natural, this is a healthy cake. You will not have the sweet taste, you will have the sweet taste of the fruit, you will not have the white flour, you will only have natural things but I would also tell you not to eat the whole shape. Yes, it's a more liberated cake, but everything has to be acceptable. Just because the cake is natural doesn't mean you're going to eat the whole dish. You also have to impose limits on yourself, a piece today, a piece tomorrow, that's great. Don't make that an object of desire, make it a meal like any other. Because you think of the object of desire as distant, so don't make food an object of desire. Eat, but eat with balance. Being natural, of course the energy in your body will remain the same, but there is addiction, and if you eat excessively, then your energy starts to drop, because that is where your addiction, your lack of balance, is demonstrated. So stay balanced, that's it. I know that for many it is difficult, because the whole family is together, the vast majority like to eat sweets, there are many children, and you will be drooling over everything that is done. I understand my brothers, I understand, but eat what is acceptable, then try to eat natural things, so that your energy returns to the threshold where it was. Because every time you eat something that is not good for your body, your energy drops. So my brothers are there. There's not much to say. You're all adults and you know exactly the path you want to take. I'm not going to tie anyone to the foot of the table, so you don't leave the house. Everyone is free, and what's more, everyone has free will, to do what they want, to define what they want in their lives. Just don't complain afterwards. That's it, nothing more, there's not much more to be said. Don't get carried away by the news. Look at your world, at your space, at your home, forget about the rest outside. Because this way you will not add the feeling of fear to the egregore that will already be formed during this period. Many dangers are surrounding this party. 
each of you lives in a place where danger lurks. Some places with more dangers, others with less. So why panic? I've already said it here, diseases don't enter a balanced body, a body that shines. A shiny body, the cells are all strong, healthy, ready for war, and will not let any enemy in. Now an unbalanced body, a body without energy is susceptible to anything. So don't get carried away by the news. This is a fundamental point for this period. I don't have much else to say today, it was just advice, I'm not threatening anyone. I will not do anything, neither I nor any being of light will do anything against you. There is no punishment my brothers, there is harvest. You reap what you sow, you receive what you emanate. So that's all, the law continues to apply. So I hope that each of you is aware of what you have already acquired. Don't lose everything you work to build, simply by having to live these four, five days. Because later the path may not be as easy as it was now, because with each passing day things become more difficult. Each day will become more difficult for you to remain balanced, that is, you are going through tests daily. So hey race my message, play with lots of joy, preferably only with natural joy, don't force artificial joy through drinks and drugs. Protect yourselves. Protect yourselves a lot. And whoever does this, will spend these four or five days peacefully, and will return later, at the same level as they were. I am Archangel Michael. I am ready to help each one of you, in any moment of distress, at any time you need my help.